Psalms, Psalms, chapter 5, verse 6. Thou shalt destroy them that speak Lucy. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shah, will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. The water of Yahweh Shem Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstones deserve double honors. Rightfully so. Shout out to the Akim pushing the word and sincerely being truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. What is to come? Race wars, concentration camps, famine. The RFID chip. Which is the mark of the beast, which is in progress as we speak. People are having parties, chip parties, all types of madness is going on at the Baja Club. They enjoying themselves in this wicked society. Thinking technology is better than spirituality. No, it's not. Um, 200 million missiles being shot at the soils of America. Simultaneously, the cherries of the Lord um, lifting up the, the whole four lack. Um, and how you say, uh, into the chambers, and simultaneously, the 200 million missiles being shot off, and at the same time, the, the, the Lord's gonna be zapping, um, from laser beams out of the chariots at the ungodly, rightfully so. I brought the Zion, one of those righteous men that make it onto them chariots with all the Akim that I'm on a battlefield with. Yeah, so you know, I was sitting here, I was listening to the apostle Ramla and he said a scripture and the rest of the verses just popped out at me. Three D. So it was clear, you know. This uh yeah, Asha Ashiba, the so called white man, you um everything that's that you're about is being revealed. All the things you've done is being seen, it's being explained. It's on YouTube. That's why you're trying to get rid of YouTube. It's on the, uh, it's on the internet. You, you can't stop fucking harassing us. It's like it's in your nature. Because you know deep down inside, we the best and you're not. The Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you eagerly call us, which are the children of Israel, is the best. Yasha Allah. Not, not, um, Adam, um, Adam, um, Salaki, the natives. Not Ashashua. Yashal is the best. Better than all the nations. And yeah, the Lord going to destroy you. You think you're going to get to the point in your life and you're going to have everything? No. The Lord going to break all your shit down. All right? Rightfully so. I kind of like a... Uh, uh, how you say? Um, like a, uh, a commentary. It says right here, it says for the verses, it says, um, bloody and deceitful man shall not live out half their days. Man of bloods and deceit shall not have their days. You're not going to have your days. Okay. You're not going to have nothing in a moment. You're going to be brought down to nothing, and that's going to be briefly so. Just wanted to read that. You know, I got a scripture here. I've got that one. All right, and um, let's see here. All right. Okay. It says right here, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, prolong of days. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Yeah, all your all the things that you think you're gonna live out, you're gonna think you're gonna go forever with, or, or that you showing your movies, you're not gonna get that glory. Yahweh Shem is not gonna give you that glory. He's gonna destroy you. He's gonna make sure you be brought down to nothing. You're gonna be you're gonna be grunting in the days to come. And then the years you're gonna be just, uh, after your thousand years we're gonna destroy you. Don't say the scriptures. Don't say the Lord Yahweh Shem Shah. These are his words. So your days is going to be short. Let's read that again. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord 
Yeah, prolonged days. That's us. Our days gonna be longer. We're gonna be. We're gonna have everything. Because you don't fear you have a shot. That's why you build on the space. I was watching um, Apostle Aramla. Got this. You got Trump to my space force and all this madness. Forget that shit. You ain't getting that. That's why you're building space force. So you can try to fight against your Abba Shemel Shah. But you're going to be destroyed. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. That's right. Your whole, your whole thing going to be put down or not. All right. All right. All right. Um, verse. One more verse. Let's read this next verse. Verse twenty-eight. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. So that's coming. Just want to bring that one out. That was just sitting in the cut right there. See that? Let's add that. Let's add that to the thing. All right. Let's add that to the to the. Uh, you're gonna perish, man. You're gonna add that to the list of things that need to happen to you. Right? Just say the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You got your, you got your guns. You got your, all the madness that you have. So what? To the spirit Yahweh Shem Yahweh you're not going to prosper. Okay? Because you're the deceitful, you the bloody deceitful man. Just deceitful men. Right? This earth is just jacked up because of you. So what's happening to you? All everything, all your, all the evidence being brought against you, everything's being brought out against you is rightfully so. All right. All right. Let's move up a verse before I read this verse right here. It says right here, because this we're going to be preserved. The Yahushua Mashiach, I brought this out one of those men, the righteous, the righteous men of Yahushua are going to be preserved. For righteousness, not for you to destroy us. We're not made to be destroyed by you. We was we was brought to um to um how you say to be chastened, and you was the rod of you was his rod of his um um his chastening, slavery and um um reproach I mean reproach, and you know all the things that happened to us to now, that's the certain things still happening to us, because we still we the curses is being lifted off us, the curses are being put on you. The Lord is letting your hands get filled up with blood so he can destroy you. All right? Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. Cast thy burdens upon the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah. Right? All your, the hardships of you, of these men, the righteous men, cast your burdens upon Yahweh Shemel Shah, which is, which is the fight. All right? You, you deal with what's going on. You don't fight physically. You fight spiritually. All right? You let the Lord deal with all the things that's going on with you. All right? And he shall sustain thee. He should never suffer the righteous to be moved. You see that? We're not gonna be shut down. We're gonna be. We're gonna listen. If the spirit, the, the hour of temptation is coming, we're gonna be scarcely saved out of here. Through the spirit, I I brought this out. I want those men that must be preserved. You know, through the spirit. All right. Verse twenty-three. But thou, O power, Yahweh Shemel Shah. Shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Who's that? The, the Edomites, the so called white man. He can be brought down. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. Your shit gonna be shortened. You're going, as soon as you get to that point, bam, the Lord got your ass. Alright? There was another scripture. Let me, let me finish this. I'm come back to the scripture. I want to read the scripture again. All right. But I will trust in thee. All right. Hold on. Let me see if I can find this scripture. All right. Hold on. Is this it? Hold on. Where was that scripture at? That was. was it 15? It was a scripture I had. I just forgot where I had it. I should have wrote it down. Um, I 
But yeah, you're gonna um, you're gonna be brought to nothing. The Lord gonna destroy you. Okay, I think I got it now. I'm gonna come back to that scripture to see this is it. This is it right here. Alright. This is it. Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the numbers of his months are with thee. With who? Yahbashim Yosha. Alright, everybody day is Yahbashim Yosha know he, what's gonna happen to you. Your day, the day he he already told you, but you Ashashua, you think you gonna get you go you think your days is gonna go on forever? You out of here. Seeing his days are determined, the numbers of his month are with thee. Thou have appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. You ain't passing nothing, Ashashua. You you you, you, you doing your thing, but now your thing is short. Yeah, but you try to shorten your shit up, all right? Just want to get that one out. Okay. Where was that at? Uh, it's locked here. Um, yeah. Because you thought you were going to get out of this one. Well, Yahweh Shem Shah got your number. He said he was going to get you. Okay? All right. Uh, we're going to bring it home with this one. Salaki, I found the verse, the other verse. I was going to spend it. But, um, yeah, your days are determined, Yahweh Shah Shua. You're out of here. Psalm chapter 55, verse 23. But thou, O power Yahweh Shem Shah, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. And that's what you're supposed to do, trust in your Bashim al that all these things happen and he preserves you. So that's what we're looking forward to, being preserved and, and seeing this place destroyed. Alright? And um, with that, all prayers and honor and glory go to your Bashim al the Wadi Yabashim El Shah, forgiving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who deserve double honors, rightfully so. And Shalom to the Aki and pushing the world into sincerity and truth, being faith based. Shalom.